If you're like me, you love your degrader. It's one of the best ultrasonic record cleaners on the market. It's fully automatic and cleans records very well. It removes much of the dirt that is hiding in the groove. But there is one small thing that has always bothered me. The dirty water. It goes right back into the water tank. Can we make it even better? After the cleaning cycle, the unit drains all the water back to the water tank. Including with the water is all the dirt removed from the record. This isn't the problem. It's actually a good thing. All the dirt is removed from the record. The problem starts when the degrader starts a new washing cycle. The next day for example. I always need a paper and a pencil to visualize my IDs. This is the water tank. So when the degrader starts a new washing cycle the next day for example, all the dirt had time to settle to the bottom of the water tank. All the heavy bits sank to the bottom. And when the valve is opened to fill the ultrasonic tank, some of that dirt gets sucked up. I wanted to see if I could help the degrader to keep the dirt in the water tank and not move it to the back to the ultrasonic tank. The basic idea was to raise the point of the drain, move it to a place above the settled dirt. First idea was a rectangular block with an opening at the top. This way the water that goes from the water tank to the ultrasonic tank is much cleaner. Turns out the bottom part of the tank is not really rectangular. Back to the drawing board. Next idea was to change the shape to a cylinder with a hole at the top. Better, but it was still looking a bit bulky. After a rethink I came up with a ball shape. This is looking more elegant, not so big. And with the opening at the top it looks a bit like a big eyeball. The water that goes when the drain opens is much clearer. This shape was luckily easy to transform to the drawing program on the PC, ready for the 3D printer. Next chance was to make it fit in the water tank. The modification has to be reversible, so you can't use glue to fix it in position. Extra obstacle is the water tank not being rectangular and most probably changing a little bit in shape over time. After a few trials I was ready for some 3D printing. And the final result I came up with looked a bit like a, well, it looked a bit like a spider. Time to reveal the spider mod. Here it is. I'm holding it in my hands. You see the eyeball shape and the water leaves and enters the tank through the hole at the top. The legs are a little bit flexible. They adjust a little to the size of the water tank. On the bottom side you see the possibility to mount a rubber o-ring. This helps to seal the bottom side. The mounting in the water tank is easy. To demonstrate it more easily, I remove the handlebar. You don't have to do this. Before placing the spider mod, notice the two dots printed at the end of the legs. The legs with the dots go to the side wall. This is because the water tank isn't exactly symmetric. It is a little bit longer on one side as the other. Here you can see the spider mod in its natural habitat. Ready for action. A nice side effect is when the water tank is filling with water. The water goes up and not to the side, not disturbing the already settled dirt at the bottom next to the spider mod. So there you have it, the spider mod. It's a tiny D3 printed tweak that can really help your degrader to work even better. And I must say, I really like the idea of using the water tank as a kind of settling tank. And when you're not using your degrader, dirt and particles have time to sink to the bottom. It's a small change, but I think it helps to keep top performance from your degrader. And how the spider will react 
with your cleaning solution will depend a little bit on the cleaning solution you're using. But when you're cleaning the water tank, it's very easy to pull it out, check it, clean the spider itself and place it back in the water tank. And now you're probably wondering, how do you get it? How much does it cost? Good news, it's free. I'm happy to share the file with the community. And I will put a link in the description below. It's released as a non-commercial license. That means you can print it, you can share it, you can improve it, you can tweak it. Just do not sell it. And if you want to see more modification, check this video.